seems to be a string of murders involving local male patrons in restaurants, bars, and diners being killed in cold blood by their waitresses. They have all stated to police, press, and America that they had it coming. Here she is now. Would you like to make a statement? Excuse me. working late at the diner, and in walks my regular. So I bring him his coffee and I ask him how he takes it. He says he likes a blonde roast with a tiny waist and blows me a kiss. Same joke every time. And then he says the coffee tastes like crap. And every time he watches my ass make a new one. I just couldn't take it anymore. So this time I show him how I take my coffee. With a shot. He had it coming. Friday nights, the plastic surgeon pulls up in his new Porsche, orders his Manhattans, and expects a little ego stroking from time to time. Yes, doctor, you don't say, doctor. Wow, doctor, how do you do it, doctor? So with all this feel-good crap, I'm expecting a pretty generous tip. And what does the good doctor leave me? 10%. So I grabbed a steak knife, and I shoved it in his chest, and I performed my own heart surgery, gratuity included. I was pouring wine for this guy one after another after another. He'd smell, swirl, taste, and spit, and still wasn't satisfied. Now I have other tables. Does he care? No. So I get my tie and wrap it around his neck and choke his very last breath. He wants to taste the vine of the grape. I want to pop the veins in his neck. If you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I bet you you would have done to this table and the guy orders a salad. No croutons, no dressing lemons on the side, olive oil on the side, whole frickin' kitchen sink on the side. And this can only mean one thing. He's an actor. Or a model. No, he says. He's gluten-free. And I was like, what the hell is gluten? So I told him, I'm not looking for your life story. I'm looking for your order. And he didn't like that too much. Said he wanted to see my manager after his meal. So I added my own ingredient to the recipe. So you killed him? He was gluten-free. Now me and the boss had kind of a thing going on. I would do his inventories, calls, messages, and schedules, and at night he would do me. Until one night I'm closing up and I hear voices coming from the kitchen. And what do you know, there's my boss, a bottle of scotch, and a slutty new hostess going down under. That's when it hit me. He may not be management material. So I lock him in the cooler and I blow him a kiss. I made sure that was the last blow he ever gets. They had it coming. They had an aspiring actress. Every night I would tell this crook of an agent at the bar to give me my big break. He agreed he would help, but not without a little push. He always said I was his sharpest pupil. One day, I walk in on the Shakespeare feeding a new Juliet her lines. He saw himself as a mentor, and I saw him dead. The dirty bum, 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 bum. The dirty bum. back one more time. Rich, my ass. Ten wines? He was gluten-free. Blow this. At two, dipshit. Hey, where's 
the sauce. You gave me an empty bottle of sauce. 